What's going on everybody, it's Inferno here with another video, and today it's going to be a slightly bit different video. So, like some 5 hours-ish ago, Disney and Fox agreed to sign a merger, and Disney paid Fox $71.3 billion, and Fox in return gave Disney uh, their movie assets, and I believe their TV shows as well. They just, um, you know, they held back on the Fox sports and all that. So now... With Fox giving all its like movie, all its cinematic a assets to Disney, Disney now owns like the Alien, uh, the Alien franchise, Predator, Avatar, Planet of the Apes, a ton of other movies, and the two that I am the most, the two franchises I am the most interested in, are the X Men and the Fantastic Four. With that, it's now possible to make uh. With that, it's now like the X Men and the Fantastic Four are basically back home. Now, here's a little interesting tidbit I found. 19 years ago, look at this 20th Century Fox, a division of Walt Disney Co. They have Simpsons once again predicting every single shit that happened uh, so far. So, yeah, now we'll be able to see like uh, Deadpool maybe team up with Iron Man. Maybe not Robbie Downey Jr.'s Iron Man, but a and Iron Man one day, or, or you know, Spider-Man as well, uh, Wolverine and Captain America in a movie together, like back in World War II, that would be interesting, of course, Feige, the, you know, the uh, president CEO stuff of, of the, who directs like all the MCU movies, right, he said that while, if it does happen, they certainly won't plan anything for the next, like, for, for a while, right, for like five or ten years, but we'll still be able to get a Captain America and a Wolverine. Sure, it won't be Hugh Jackman and uh, Chris Evans, but we'll be able to see them together. Now, uh, the, the, oh, oh, a way that I was thinking that they could, like, you know, come in would be Secret Wars, which was a comic event, basically universes being brought together, and that uh, caused the, the two, like, the Ultimate Universe and the 616 Universe from Marvel Comics to merge together. In the Ultimate Universe, you have, like, Ultimate Spider-Man, Captain America, Wolverine, and all of those. Like, Miles Morales is one of the more uh, famous Ultimate um, characters, as well as Ultimate Nick Fury, like the uh, the African-American Nick Fury, like the one the MCU Nick Fury is based off. And, yeah, that could be one way of introducing the X-Men, uh, and th there's a ton of other ways, but this is, like, one of my personal favorites. Like, instead of Infinity War, you got Secret Wars. This could be, like, the next big thing. And with that, we could possibly see a Avengers vs. X-Men. I th That would be kind of uh, scary, really, but I... I mean, I'd be up for it. I'd be up for watching that. That would be pretty cool. And another thing. uh, Yeah, uh, the Fantastic Four as well. Uh, well. Look at this. We'll finally have Captain America, Quicksilver, Hulk. Wolverine, Spider-Man, Giant Man, everybody in all in one interconnected universe. Honestly, this is going to help the X-Men franchise a lot. Their timeline is already screwed up as is, so this could be a nice fresh take on it. And here's an interesting tidbit on how they could possibly introduce the Fantastic Four. For those of you who have seen Homecoming, Happy states that Stark sold the Avengers Tower to someone. Clips right here. Everything's got to be out of here by next week. Wait, wait, you're moving? Who's moving? Yeah, don't you watch the news? Tony sold Avengers Tower, relocating to a new facility upstate where hopefully the cell service is much worse. And we don't know who it is. Could it be, uh, I, I don't know, could it like the government have bought it? Or could it have been some other scientist people? Reed Richards and Susan Storm, along with their friends Johnny Storm and Ben Grimm. And that could be the way to introduce the Fantastic Four all the way back here in Homecoming. That would be nice and interesting and all that jazz. So, yeah, I'm honestly, like, hyped up for this. This is, this is amazing. So, um, yeah, uh, leave, leave a like, subscribe and stuff if you enjoyed it. And, um, if you guys want, I could keep on making, like, these quick little tidbit news videos on Marvel and all that good stuff, DC maybe, too. I don't know, Aquaman Shazam look very interesting. So yes, uh, that'll be it. Uh, what do you guys think about the merger? Are, are you guys as, as excited as I am? 
and leave your thoughts down below in the comments. I'll I'll I'll, um, I'll probably respond to you, and I'll see you guys in the next video.